Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create the rook in Fusion 360, and we're going to use these three drawings to show us the dimensions that we need to create the exact example that I've got for you. Um, if you are thinking that you don't have Fusion, you could use Blender, which are, there are two links here showing you how to make the king and the knight. Um, I'm going to insert the link here for the rook, and then also over here I will put a link that will show you how to draw in Fusion 360 and also in Google Sketchup and with Tinkercad. We're going to use these dimensions for any of the programs, but it just might mean that you are drawing it from different views. So to start off with, we need a line here that is 55 and a baseline that is 18. I need to be working on either the front or right hand plane. I'm going to right click, click sketch, and obviously I'm going to be creating a line. And I'm just going to rotate round, orbit the screen, and I cannot work on the X, Y plane. I need to work anywhere on the Z. This is because we're going to revolve the shape. From the center, the origin here, I'm going to place a line that is 55, and I'm going to try 55 and hit enter. Click L for line tool again, or click here. And I'm going to place a line that is 18 millimeters. It's difficult to see the end because of the dimension, so I'm just going to move the dimension over to the other side, and the same with this one at the bottom. And go back to the drawing so that you can see the next size. So we want a line that is, just hit zoom here. Uh, five tall, and then another line that is five tall, but at a 145 degree angle from it. So you click line, and that is five millimeters at 90 degrees. L for line again. Clicking that on my keyboard, and I type five. And if you hit your tab key on your keyboard, you can try and move onto it. But you see my arrow key; it becomes a bit confusing. So I hit tab. It's one four five. Okay, make sure it's in the right direction. There's a lock you'll notice on both those numbers because I can't edit them. Okay, it's 145 from this base. Notice what mine has just done is put the angle in on the wrong side. I'm going to delete that line and click D for dimension from here to there. 45. Okay, um, this line here is 145 and 10 tall. Go back, line in, 10 millimeters. I'm going to edit the degrees on there after. And I have another 5. I have another line that's 17.369 because it's a line that fills the gap. So I'm going to work from the top now. So this across is 5, 10, 15. The square should help you when you're counting. And then 15 down. Stop a line that you're drawing. You'll see that it keeps going. Hit the tick or enter on your keyboard. So now I'm going to work from the top. And the line tools picked up and move 15 here. And 15 down. 5 in. Okay. Now these two lines should meet and make the gap that we've got that is 17.369. Enter. And you can see the line that I've got here isn't quite meeting up. I'm just going to drag it over to align it. That down. Just check that looks correct. All of the dimensions are the same and all of the dimensions have been moved out. Now, when we go to make this a solid, we don't extrude it. It's a flat shape. We're going to revolve it to make the cylindrical shape. So it's this tool here. You select all of the profile. All of these lines through the profile. And then the axis is the center line that you want it to revolve around. And click OK. 
This has made most of the body, and you could make that shape more exciting later on, but we'll go back to that in a moment. We're now going to select the top face, click Sketch, and create a circle. It should rotate round, and you should see Finish Sketch to know that you've actually created the sketch area. The dimension of this circle is 25. If I just rotate that so you can see, on the top we're going to cut down to make the space for where we're going to put in the castle on the rook. So I go back here, we're putting in a circle that's 25 and we're going to extrude down by 8. I'm going to add that in there. Extruded cut 8 millimeters. Okay. Right to fusion. E for extrude or click on your solid and pick this box here and select that circle. You can rotate to see where you're working and we're going to drag that down by 8, minus 8. I actually think I prefer 12 millimetres. Next part is to make the top here. And we're going to work with lines that we're going to repeat round. So we need to select this top face again, click sketch, and we need lines, and it should rotate round to where I'm working. A line in the centre and make sure that it attaches to the edge. And a line in the centre and it should attach to the edge again. You'll know it does because it will be 15 millimetres in length. Click D for dimension or pick up your dimension tool. Click on one line, click on the other line and drag out to get the degrees, the difference of degrees between them. And we're going to make that 15. Actually, I think I've got it at 18. And then you're going to create a circular pattern using those that you revolve around the shape. Select the objects, this line and this line. Select your center point by clicking in here, clicking on the center point. And then I want six. You could make that 10 if you like, it's up to you. Click OK, make it 15, it's up to you. I should be able to select the segments here that I'm going to then cut away. I'm going to hold my Shift key on the keyboard and pick up the sections that I want to cut away from this shape. Let's revolve that round so you can see what I've picked up. I'm then going to Go to solid again, click E on my keyboard and extrude those down as a cut. And that's 8 millimetres. So that I end up with this chess piece. Once you've drawn this, I would save it. And then there are some extension tasks for you as well. Good luck.